Hello and welcome. This time we're talking about monoflops. Yeah? This is if you lose one sandal, then you have only a monoflop. And. Or not. Or not. Monoflop is a monostable vibrator. Monostabile Kippstufe, it's called. It's a digital time element. Yeah? Monoflops are built in a way that they have one stable condition. Yeah? From alone, they stay in this stable condition. And then, from an outside trigger event, they will, they will leave this stable condition, wake up, and after a certain time, done with some elements inside there, like, like condensators and so on, after this certain time, they will go back into the stable position. Monostable vibrator. Yeah, every time I push it, yeah, it will wake up. Yeah. Like a drunk at the bar. Yeah. Stable position. <sniffs> then there is an outset stimulus. <gasps> you have a short time an unstable position and then go back to the stable position. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure how politically correct this is, but this is how you can remember for sure. So, monostable things. The time length, they are not that high, I have to tell you. If you reach seconds, then you are already have already spent quite a lot of money because the longer the times are, the more accurate those elements which control the time must be. And these more accurate elements, more expensive. But anyway, let's look. What is the symbol for such monostable things? Symbol is like this. Okay. There's the input, and this will trigger something, yeah? trigger the one, the output. This is reacting on the uh, rising edge. Yeah? Of course, there's also the possibility that this is reacting on the falling edge. Rising edge, falling edge. Usually we have written here how many, I don't know, uh, 400 milliseconds. Yeah? How long this state, this instable state is, be, is going to be. So there is the input, there is the Q. Yeah? And we also have to distinguish between Retriggerable and non retriggerable. Yeah? What is the difference? If this is I, it's the time. And let's say my eye is looking like this. Here we're going to trigger. Shall look like this. Yeah. non retrievable elements, they then would look like, like this, here, at this point in time, we will leave the stable position, jump to one, stay there for our time, go to zero. So this is the time where we stay in this instable position. I call it TQ simply. And here I have a second trigger event. And I also will use this time. This is exactly 
die Kiewe gehen. This is if I'm not able to re-trigger, because here there would be a trigger event also, but since we have already, we are already up, this trigger has no effect. Okay. So, and let's have a look how this would look like on retriggerable. Make this a little bit longer. Yeah. QR retriggerable. Then we have this uh, things here. Yeah. Here we're going to go up. Here we're going to go down. Exactly the same behavior like before. Yeah. Also here we're going to go up. But here we will, this time will be re-triggered and now we're having a prolonged time here. Then going down. And this TQ, the delay time here, is taken from the last trigger event, even if it was hidden. Yeah? Or even if it was already triggered. So we re-triggered this monostable thing. Yeah? Not retriggerable, retriggerable. Yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. Reacting on the fall arising edge, reacting on the fallen edge, both can be retriggerable or not retriggerable. You have to look. Sometimes it's written here in N, which means non retriggerable. Yeah. Oh this means newly triggered, newly yeah. But you see, it's German. Uh, okay. Hmm. What to do with such things? Because usually I want to delay some signals and I want not just to put to this drunken guy thing. Yeah. How to build a delay circuit with some such things? I will show you. Yeah. Show you. We could simply use an end. We use this mono stable thing. Okay. And yeah. Here we have one output, here we have the inverted output. Yeah. Sometimes the outputs are inverted also. One. And let's say 200 milliseconds. Yeah. Then I could use this inverted output. And up here. What would this mean then? Hmm? What would this mean? So there is there is my input I. Yeah? Here is my output O. Yeah? And this one I call not X yeah? because this is X. Let's draw. Let's see, I, if it's thick, is rising at one point, yeah, stay, and going down to zero again, after a certain time. This is I. Yeah. Now, let's see what X is doing. This is X. It will go up. It will stay there for these 200 milliseconds and then disappear. Okay. And not X will be up, will go down, will go up. 
this is not x, okay? Exactly the other way around. What will then be the output after the end? So this is O. First, the input is zero, so it will be zero. Then, not x is zero, it will be zero. Yeah. And then, this is getting one, both are one, it will get one, and will disappear. Here we got a delay time Ooh, of 200 milliseconds. Okay, so the rising edge was delayed by 200 milliseconds. This thing is really working. But there is one issue with this. We do have delay times. This thing is running. So actually, what we are not switching here immediately up, we will switch a little bit later up. Huh? We look like this in real. Yeah? This also means we will switch here later down. Okay? And this again means that we will see here a spike at the beginning. Yeah? The switching time of the element, we will see this. Yeah? And then it will look like this. Yeah? This, of course, is not wanted, this thing here. This is bad. Yeah? How can we overcome this? Yeah? The issue is that the above uh, branch is much faster than the below branch. So I simply slow the above branch down. We'll use it like this. I will use two elements, two rather fast elements, okay, granted. However, they will slow the upper part down. They have obviously not a real reason. The only reason they have is that they will slow down the upper part. So this here, this I, will not directly go to the end, but with a little bit more delay. Okay. And so this will prohibit the spike at the beginning. Whenever you see something like this, it's not because somebody was stupid. There might be also a reason for this. And this reason might be timing issues, like I just shown you. Yeah. So this would be the correct uh, circuit to, to delay on switching, yeah. on delay circuit. Can we also off delay? Mm. Of course we can. Yeah. Well, maybe there is even there is even a symbol for this. Yeah like this okay 200 milliseconds on delay zero off delay if there is even such a symbol, of course, there is also an, an on delay or off delay. 
we simply use we also will use to slow down things in the upper part this is exactly like before then we're using this monostable monostable element down here which have two outputs this time I say it's four milliseconds up to now pretty much the same okay and now I'm using not an end block I'm using an or block and I'm using that X I'm using I'm using not X I'm using X okay so this is the input again this is the output this is X here let's draw once again our timing diagrams T, T, T the input exactly as before What is X? X is also exactly as before. Here with a little bit time delay already I will draw. Yeah. This will go up yeah. and then we will leave. Okay. Of course I made a mistake because here I need a knot this will stay down and here after a while after this running time here we will go up delay 4 milliseconds go down okay. this is how this will look like this is stupid was my mistake this is how this will look like that's X. Because of this uh, delay, these two delay elements, we will see at the end this signal. Yeah? And so the output, the, the OR, yeah? we will switch here, starting from here. Uh, here we also have the delay, starting from here. We will switch to one. Then here we will switch off. So we have here our four milliseconds. So this is actually. an off delay okay think about this if we're not if we are not uh, slowing it down we will then see a short period where we disappear okay yeah that's it how is the symbol the symbol is exactly the same exactly the same this time right here zero and here four milliseconds okay. so we do have the possibility of slowing down the switch on and we do have the possibility of slowing down the switch off okay. flankenverzögerung delay 
there is even the possibility of doing both. Okay? Because if I delay switching on and afterwards delay switching off, I have both. Okay? I'll also show you. So first I have to delay the switch on. It's exactly the thing we've done before. Not, not, here's an end, here's x, here's not x. Yeah. This is this monostable thing. Yeah. And this was through 200 milliseconds. Good. So this is now on delayed. Yeah. And now, I take this and make with this an off delay with a second monostable vibrator. I'll take now 100 milliseconds. Here's the OR now. Here is X, here is not X, I will take X, here is the OR, and here NOT. This time I have NOT forgotten. Okay. So this is delaying the switch on, this is delaying the switch off. Okay. So if this is my input here, this here is my, I call it and at x I have I call it y, yeah, and this here is my output. Oh, yeah. we would end up in a situation or behavior like this. This is i. This will go to one at a certain point. At another certain point it will go to zero. So transfer them to the other diagrams, this switching. And the X, how will X look like? It will be delayed by 200 milliseconds. Switch then on. And here we'll switch off. I neglect now the running issues. And here is the output. The output only sees this X. It doesn't know that there is an I before. Yeah? So it will start going up here. And then 100 milliseconds after the disappearance it will go down. because this is 100 milliseconds. So here we have 200 milliseconds, because this is delaying 200 milliseconds, and here we have 100 milliseconds, because this is delaying 100 milliseconds. And the output indeed is on delayed and off delayed. So this is how this can be done. And the corresponding symbol is rather easy to guess. On delay 200 milliseconds, off delay 100 milliseconds. That's it. Okay. Well, monostable. Vibrators, they are called, monostabile Kippstufen yeah, or monoflop. And we are using them to delay edges. Sometimes useful. If those things are longer, those times we need are longer than some milliseconds, yeah, 
we would need counters. Then we have maybe a chip with 16 megahertz and we are counting up with 16 megahertz and stop the counter with a pre-selection counter and the output will then be delayed. Yeah? If I set this to 16 million, it will exactly be delayed one second. Yeah? If I set this to 32 million, yeah, it will be delayed. The pre-selection value, it will be delayed by two seconds because 16 million sw swings by seconds the clock is making. Yeah, so this would be another possibility. Use a counter and let it count to a certain value with a certain speed, so it takes some time, a defined time. Those two things are used as time elements, digital time elements. They have completely uh, made those analog time elements we talked about, they made them pretty much useless. Yeah. This is how we do it nowadays. Yeah, that's time. So we can save something, we have memory. We can stop, use timing issues, the timing things, we have timing. Well, we can build almost everything. Huh? So next time we're talking about the new stuff thing. This is called a multiplexer. Yeah? What a multiplexer is and what it not is and what is a multiplexer and what is a demultiplexer and how they work together, together, we will discuss in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.